Sweet and sour chicken. Okay, so it's a classic, but there are so many versions out there that are not quite so good. So my version is lighter, fresher, and super awesome. First of all, we're gonna make the sweet and sour sauce itself. Now I'm gonna start off with some brown sugar. So we're gonna add some white vinegar to that. Now the Chinese takeaway version often has chunks of sweet pineapple. I'm not such a big fan of that. So I put pineapple juice into the sauce instead. Then we want a little bit of light soy sauce and then some tomato ketchup. And then a little pinch of Chinese five spice. Just get that heating up. And then once that sugar is dissolved, going to thicken up the sauce with some cornstarch mixed with a little bit of water. Mixing it with water first, make sure that we're gonna have lumps of corn flour in our sauce. Just let that simmer a little bit longer until we get a nice thick sauce. Mm, now that's tasting good. That lovely balance of the sweet and sour and just that hint of the Chinese five spice. Delish. For the chicken, we're gonna do a simple marinade because that's gonna add even more flavor to the dish. So I'm just gonna start off with a little bit of soy sauce and some garlic and then a little bit of white pepper. You could use black if you don't have white, but I prefer the milder spiced flavor of a white pepper for this dish. Mix that together. Now you could let that sit around and marinate, but I'm just going to get it straight into my flour and get it ready to cook. So what we're doing with the chicken is creating that sort of nice crunchy coating on the outside. And when we go to mix that in with our sauce, it's gonna soak up all the flavor. Now you wanna give that chicken two to three minutes each side until it's lovely and golden brown and crispy. Oh, that chicken looks so good already. And the real secret here is that we're not coating the chicken in a really heavy batter. It's just a light smattering of flour. So you're still getting the crispy crunch, um, but not all that stodgy heavy batter. So now that we've got our chicken done, our sauce made, we're gonna get onto some veggies for the stir fry. So I just want some fine wedges of onion and then some wedges of tomato. And you want to keep the vegetables quite chunky for this. I don't want them disintegrating in the heat. I want them to actually sort of retain their shape for the end of the dish. And then in with the onion first. Just when the edges of that onion are starting to catch and caramelize, that's when I want to add my tomato. And then the chicken. And now we're ready for the sauce. Mm, this is where the magic happens. So that coating on the outside of the chicken is just soaking up and becoming all glossy with the sauce. And then I just want to add a good handful of sliced spring onions. 